This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Breath of Fire. So we made our way last time to Nanai, and we're in the, I don't know, the underground dungeon area beneath the town. We have to find the quake control device. It is apparently pretty deep in the earth here because, well, got lava all over. And we got another herb. Um, which way's progress and which way's just pressure? Okay. I made the right call. E-stone. Another battle item. Not sure what the B stands for, and I'm not sure if the F is fire for the last one I got, but all of the stones like that that you pick up are basically, yeah, they're gonna be battle items. Cause damage to the enemies. Okay, now we keep going even farther down. Okay, well, got a couple treasures over here. Guess pick this one up first, because it looks like I can keep going from the bottom one. Arm pad? Okay, well, I did buy one of those, but I guess you could have picked one up here if you would have waited. Although the increased defense probably didn't hurt for me to have. Oh! Finally saw a magic attack. And it was pretty powerful. But yeah, I think I can finish this battle off without getting knocked out. And he was nice and left me an herb for me to recover anyway. Seventy GP. And yeah, I mean we've been leveling up quite a bit and we're only up to fifty six HP, so you can kinda of tell from that that this isn't gonna be a game where you get thousands of HP. I would imagine probably would have a cap of 999, but some of your characters aren't even going to come close to that, probably. some of that great Super Nintendo music going here. Another F-Stone. Yeah, I'm taking a little more damage from some of these guys, but still nothing too bad, considering how often we're getting herbs for props and stuff in battle. There's a cure, even more powerful healing potion. I think that's a pretty powerful one, if I remember right. It costs quite a bit, so I'm probably not going to use that unless... Um, get into a tough situation without any herbs left. At least not for quite a while. I 
There's a bigger staircase going down. So, I would imagine that means that's going to lead to end. Uh oh. Yeah. That's probably putting me in a position where I should use an herb. Hopefully I get to go first because... Yeah, that attack from one of those guys would have left me with like 1 HP and the second attack would have killed me if they both got to go. Probably a little closer than I should have cut it. Okay. Now this is more of a constructed area, it looks like. Alright. So... This, I, I think that's like a warp out after you activate the machine or something like that. There's a guy here, a soldier. Imagine we're going to have to fight him. Who disturbs my privacy? Taking over the world with this machine. No one can stop me. So, who is this? It's a knight. Oh, okay. Pretty tough knight, it looks like. I think I can go one more round without healing. Nice if I could get some slams or counter-attacks. Yeah, because it whittles his HP down so much more slowly than I'm doing to him on when I'm hitting him than when he's hitting me. These um, boss battles are kind of disproportionately harder than the regular enemies, it seems like. Yeah, I don't know. I might have lasted another round. It does use that Thunderbolt fairly often. And I'm not always sure if I'm going to get to go before him or not. We'll take a chance here. Back again. But now, yeah, I need to make sure I heal before he hits me again. He's still only down to like half of his HP. Probably gonna take about all of my herbs. Hey, welcome, sight. Some of it, some of his attacks have been a little less here lately. So it's a little bit variable. 
could use that thunder spell on me though, so I better heal now. And finally we got a slam. Oh, he can recover too. Guess that takes his turn though, so... Postponing the inevitable. I guess I've been healing too, though, so it's only fair, right? Oh, yeah. I was uh, guessing that that could probably happen too. We're not the only ones that can do critical hits. That's nice. Okay, I think I can still go for one more hit here. And a counter. Very nice. So, yeah, it's kind of a tedious battle. But if it's anything like the frog, maybe he'll give me, like... <laughs> A level or two gained for beating him. But he's probably not done yet, yeah. Arr. Probably one more hit will do it. Don't trust that. Plus we could miss too, so I better heal. That wasn't enough. Ow. If he uses that thunder, I'm dead. There we go. Guess maybe I could have used one of those battle items that would have helped, but I just used up all my herbs. They don't cost that much. But yeah, 700 experience and 500 gold. Level 9? Are we going to get level 10 too? Nope, oh, just one level this time. How could this be? I've been defeated! Arr. is generating a strange noise. You find a key. Take it? Yes. Hold the key from the machine. With that, it seems like it activated. It's not letting me do anything else with it, but there is, uh, everything is shaking. Does that show up in my item list? Yeah. Earth key, I think, is what it is. Never be able to use this. This has a connection to the goddess tier. So, we got one of the goddess keys already, I guess. I suppose. And yeah, see, these stones don't stack. So if you get too many of them, you are going to use up a lot of your inventory space with them. Yeah, like I said, I think that warped you out. And yeah. That machine actually blew up and leveled the whole town. <laughs> As we suspected, the device within the palace was causing the quakes. Let's go, Ryu. The king is waiting for us.
You gave up Nanai to destroy the forces of the Dark Dragons. Tough choice to make. Both show that you're a true hero. Travel east to Winland. There you'll find a cave to another kingdom. I wish you could stay, but I know destiny leads you elsewhere. Good luck, warrior. Thank you. you. Saved our kingdom. I never should have enlisted as a soldier. I'm not cut out for it. As long as he recognizes it, I guess. Please come back safe, warrior. Our confidence is in your is in you, brave warrior. You must stay here and rebuild. And yes, um, strangely enough, they do actually rebuild the town. So, as you come back throughout the game, this town will actually change. Yeah, we saved it at the statue there now. And now we just need to leave again. I... I'm half tempted to return to Drogon, was it? The hometown? But I think I'll be okay moving forward. The only reason I would do that is so I could buy some more herbs. But I don't think we have another dungeon, so I just gotta make it through the overworld to get to the next town. And we are pretty tough at this point. Although I suppose I could have gone in and used the spring water to heal myself up, but I think I'll be fine. If I get in a real pinch, I can always use that gear. Rather not. Yeah, there you got deer, wild pigs, birds. They each drop something different, I'm pretty sure. Like the deer, I think, drop an antler if you are able to kill them. The antler cures poison, works like an antidote. The wild pigs drop a roast, which is a healing item. Birds drop bird meat, I think. I'm not sure if that heals or what it does, I don't remember exactly. Got it done faster. Yeah, you just walk through the ruins and continue on the east. I mean, to make it through these areas faster, since these guys aren't giving that much experience anyway. I guess this would be the case where you might want to use some of those marble threes, which let you have no encounters. But they're not infinite either, as far as time. Like, even if you use one, it's not going to last, like, all the way until you get to the next town, necessarily. I'm not going to do too much exploring of the world map yet, because I think we get better forms of transportation later that'll let me kind of show you around for everything. So this, at this point, I'm just going forward the next area. I think that's the cave they were talking about. But the town is here. This is Windland. Alright, so we got our next town here. I think it's known as, like, Windia. 
later Breath of Fire games. I don't think there's much for treasure to find here. Um, there are some new shops, I think. I don't know if they have anything new. We'll check it out. There's a castle here, too, I'm pretty sure. I guess we can use the inn. Can I steal the fish on the counter or eat it? Eh, yeah, we can. Welcome to the inn. It's 80 GP per night. Wish to stay here? Yeah, it's both. Did you enjoy your stay? Please visit us again. What great service. I grow up, I'm gonna soar like my brothers and sisters. Yeah, if you didn't notice yet, these people do have wings, and they can actually, I think, change into a... When they become adults or sometime, they can change into bird form and fly. Or maybe they can just fly without changing to birds. I don't remember exactly, but we'll see it. You can get to Scand. Scand? I think it's Scand, but it could be Scandi. I like that. I'll say Scand. You can get to Scand by land or by sea. There is a port to the east. It seems like there's a bridge that should be going here. Does the sign say anything? No. Got a little shed here. This might have something in it. Take a V potion. Vitality potion, I think. And if you're wondering why I'm not using those, is I like to generally hold on to those type of items until you get more of your party members so I can decide more I want to use it on. Weapons and armor. Welcome to the weapon shop. How can I help you? Bronze sword is the one I have. Chainmail, I guess, would be an upgrade. But let's hold on for a while. Seems like we've been finding fairly good stuff in dungeons so far. Stuff costs a lot of money. What's this? Welcome to storage. How can I help you? So, yeah, you can store um, items and GP here. I guess this one means we deposit it. So, yeah, I am going to put all of those things. I'll keep one F stone just in case I need to use one in a really tough boss battle or something. And you just go to the stores and take the items that are held there. So that's a way to help with inventory issues if you have some later on. Alright, so... Charm. Like a remedy, basically. And that recovers AP, the acorn does. Yes, I am going to get two stacks of herbs. At least I think that's how much I picked up. Could have been. I guess I can sell that armpit, too. Yeah. I do wish.
Well, let's keep going and see what else the town has to offer. I think there's a castle here, too. We are the Clan of the Wing. As adults, we can turn into birds. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I guess I was right. Dark dragons have threatened us, but we won't give in to them. Now they seem pretty formidable. Another fish I could eat, I guess. The Wizard of Karma is helping the Dark Dragons. This is a bad sign. Another fish there. Up here, nobody's home. Nobody's in here either. I suppose it'll be the same for this one. Except it'll probably have two stories. Yeah. Yep, nothing going on. You can't use the tunnel leading to the next land without the king's okay. Okay, well I guess... Glad I didn't check that out yet anyway then. And there's a bridge and a cave coming out, but I guess we have to get to that from the basement of the castle up here? We haven't seen the king for some time. Wonder if he's okay. Yeah, that seems kind of odd. The king has refused an offer from the Dark Dragons. He will not betray the other kingdoms. I once heard of a hero who could turn into a dragon. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, sounds cool. The forest people have fled their land and built a village called Tantar. Backwards land of Romero is to the northwest. Now backwards as in like a few things backwards or or as in like they're a bunch of backwoods type of hick people or something. Welcome to the castle of Winland. You want to see the king? Please wait here. Princess Nina, the king has a visitor. Did I tell him the king is ill? No. If word gets out that the king's been poisoned, our people might panic. Keep this quiet until we can get the re the remedy. It may be very difficult to find. Princess, our visitor has been waiting. Go into one of the guest rooms, please, and ask him to stay. Princess Nina, are you going to look for the remedy alone? Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Yeah, Nina's another common character in Breath of Fire games. I'm worried about the princess. I'll find someone to help her. Thank you. The king isn't here. Please wait until he returns. You must be tired. You can stay here for the night. Okay. And I don't have an option. He just automatically goes to bed. I must do my part to save the king and the country. All right, we actually are in control of Nina now. But I think that's a pretty good place to go ahead and call it for today. So we'll pick up here next time and we'll check out her inventory and all that stuff. Find out what she's got equipped and what she can do. And we'll head forward from there. I guess we gotta go try to find the remedy with her. 
and I'm sure they'll kind of direct us on where we need to go for that. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.